Hey there, it's Ryan Skaggs, and this is the Mortgage Minute. Thank you so much for tuning in. This channel is dedicated to everything mortgage, real estate, and interest rates, and we're going to talk about those interest rates right off the bat. Average 30-year fixed, according to Freddie Mac. Check out that link below, 2.88. So between August 12th and today, looking at kind of mid-September here, or getting into mid-September, we have been relatively flat. When I say relatively flat, it's like one basis point move up and down uh, week to week. So we've just not had a lot of headline news, not had a lot of information out there that's really pushed the mortgage-backed securities market and the interest rates really higher or lower. Uh, we were lower maybe in August, early August, late July, and we've kind of ticked back up slightly. I still believe that we're going to have a pretty stable uh, fourth quarter and end to third quarter, and maybe even could see a slight uh, kind of drawdown in rates a little bit before we potentially see rates um, move back up in 2022. I think all signs point to that. Everyone's kind of expecting that. It's just more of a, a timing of when that will happen. So uh, check out that link. As I mentioned, Freddie Mac's average 30 year fix weekly survey, just a great tool to be able to kind of gauge where the market's at. You haven't missed the boat. We're still absolutely low. While you're down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I put out weekly videos on everything, as I mentioned, mortgage, real estate, and interest rates. So I'd be forever grateful for the subscribe. So let's get into the subject matter today. And can I get a mortgage using cryptocurrency? All right, so I'm seeing more and more of this and actually closing loans with clients that are using crypto. But how does that actually work? Is it a yes? Is it a no? I just referenced that I've closed you know, some before. It all depends on the program, right? And also depends upon the lender. Now, I'm going to speak, obviously, from my opinion. Uh, but with that said, you need to contact the lender to see their specific policy on it. Now, cryptocurrency is new. So there's ever-changing policy. So that is one of the reasons why, the, depending on when you watch this video, you need to be absolutely certain you're kind of checking and not taking you know, an opinion as you know, policy moving forward. So cryptocurrency as a whole can be used. Um, especially in conforming loans. When you have a loan amount below, in this market, $548,250. If you have something below, that's likely using Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac guidelines. If you've heard those terms below, I'll put a couple links below as well. Now, once you know that you have a loan that is in that conforming world, now these policies are pretty straightforward is that we want to track the money and we mean the lender. The lender underwriter needs to be able to track the money for a whole host of different reasons. But if you have money and I'll use Coinbase, um, something I have near and dear and I understand and know, uh, but if you have a Coinbase account and you're moving money over into your primary checking, your ABC checking, we need to see the transfer. As we see that transfer come over, if it's a large amount, you drop $50,000 into your account, it's considered a large deposit. I now need to track back to that Coinbase account and be able to see the money coming in through the transaction history and be able to see, hey, you put money over into here and then you brought it over here. I can I can complete that circle. If you're going to tell me that you are selling goods and you have no record of it and you're getting money from other wallets and you can't track any of the money from you into crypto, then back to you, you probably cannot. Um, be able to get a mortgage and or show that money as legitimate money. You have to be able to complete that circle, right? That's the key part is if you can document you putting money in, investing in this asset, in this case, a, a crypto coin of some kind, something like that, selling it back over to US dollars, which you absolutely have to do, sell it in the US dollars, move it over into your liquid funds of your primary checking savings, then that is something that you can likely be able to document and show. Just like if you own Facebook or a stock, you put money over into your TD Ameritrade account, you buy Facebook, it goes up, you sell it, you bring the money back over into your checking account and you buy a home, right? We just need to see that circle. So cryptocurrency as a whole is absolutely a legitimate asset to be able to use, but you have to be able to document it. And there's very few crypto sites or wallets or whatever you want to call it that provide actual statements. So it is difficult, but it is doable. Uh, believe me, because I've done it before. I own crypto. I helped clients um, on different styles of loans be able to use crypto. So I have an experience with this 
um, that, that probably not a lot have. But with that said, do I want to do every loan with crypto? Probably not. If you can avoid it, I would. That is my suggestion, um, is that you can avoid those funds and then replenish your funds after. Absolutely. Right. So um, you need to complete that circle. That's really the key. Uh, the last note that I'll make about crypto is that if you've been trading it for years, if you're showing it on your tax returns as a capital gain, as a, like a trader might or someone like that, you could actually use a capital gain as income. Little known fact, I don't think too many people understand, but if you've been trading crypto and you've been making money at it and showing on your tax returns as a capital gain for the last two years, you can use crypto as capital gains per, uh, I can tell you at least currently Fannie Mae allows for that. Uh, but Again, policies change all the time. So you definitely want to be able to apply, get credit qualified, see what you uh, qualify for, what program, and then the specific pol policies at that time. So this is the Mortgage Minute and can you use cryptocurrency to purchase a home? So thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day and we'll see each other again very, very soon.